Hello there, girlfriends. I'm so glad that you stopped by. We're going to be doing 15 of the products that I would pick up or purchase again at Sephora if I didn't already own them. So these are my tried and trues that I would go in and in a heartbeat, I would purchase them again. But before we get started, we always go over what I have on. And today we're going to take a look at my outfit. But if you're not interested in seeing what I have on for an outfit, totally understand. You got a timestamp right here where you can skip ahead just to my recommendations for the Sephora VIB sale. And also we have a numbering system where the products on the screen are numbered one through however many we get through. Go down into the description box and look for that number. The product and any color will be next to it along with the link and you can shop that way if you'd like to. All right, let's see what I got on. I have my simple leggings. These are still my compression leggings. They are all the way up underneath the bus. They go all the way up. I'm wearing these because I still have to have compression for my surgery and these are so nice. They're buttery soft, but they hold you in so tight. So if you're somebody that has to have compression for your calves, your thighs, because of maybe blood clots or anything, you know, bloating, anything you have like that, you might think about these because they are so good and I can feel it when I don't wear these. It really is a big difference. And then I got to pair it with a really cute pair of shoes, which I'll come up and I'll show you closer. And also I have on a tank top underneath here. This tank top is one that is not super long. It just hits me right at my hips, but it's double lined. And then I just use this shirt. I rolled up the sleeves and I just use it kind of as an open jacket type thing. Springtime and we kind of all need to get in that mode. So let me get a little closer and you can see the jewelry that I have on and I'll show you the shoes. Okay, shoes are super cute. They have a ton of padding on them. These are so comfortable. I can't do the between the toe thong thing like I used to when I was a kid. These don't have that, but they have some really great decoration on there. It's got some rivets and a few rhinestones on there and just cute. So it's gonna elevate your outfit just a little bit. And then I wore my Lifetime Jewelry gold bracelet. Lifetime Jewelry is a company that sells on Amazon. They have their own website too. They've been around since the 80s and they offer a lifetime warranty on their pieces. All you have to do is register them and then if anything happens to them, you get a free one or they fix it for you. I think that's really great and I bought a lot of pieces from them. And then I have these half hoop earrings and they're in gold. They're gold plated. These look like they'd be super heavy because they're big, but they're not. As soon as I saw them, I was like, oh my goodness, those are so dang cute. I'm definitely gonna pick up a pair and I might even pick up a pair in silver because I just think they're absolutely adorable. Okay, <laughs> so that's what I have on. Let's get into the Sephora recommendation. Okay, to start off with, I'm gonna recommend one skincare item. Tula actually sent this to me and I was in shock when I started to use it because I just felt like it really made my skin super smooth and it just felt revitalized. It's anyway, it's Tula Skincare Probiotics and Superfoods Get Toned Pro Glycolic 10% Resurfacing Toner. Now, if you've never used glycolic acid, that's what it does. It helps to slough off the dead skin but glycolic makes your skin super soft. Lactic acid, salicylic acid, those are more for breakouts, for uh, pores and things like that, but glycolic is just this wonderful softening toner, and I love it. I've used a lot of different glycolic acids before, but I think I noticed a difference quite a lot faster with this one at 10% than I have any of the others that I have used before. So this is a yes in my book. Another yeah. thing that is really great to buy right now is any sort of a foundation that you want and or concealer that you've been wanting to try. The one that I have on today and the one you're gonna see me demonstrating here is from House Labs and I still love this. When it came out before the last Sephora VIB sale, I felt like it was fantastic. It has something like four, five, seven different uh, dimethicones in it, different smoothing agents in it, which makes that foundation look just beautiful across your skin. Triclone Skin Tech Foundation. So they've made it so that your skin will look super blurred and just super perfected. I have really good success with wear time on this. I don't have a lot of break apart. It never oxidizes. Now the color that I have is a little bit darker. It'll be fine once I go ahead and get myself tanning on. But this, it's just a really nice foundation and it's one that I have loved ever since it came out. 
and I've recommended it before. So great time to pick up a foundation. Maybe there's one you have been having your eye on. And then I've not heard anybody talk about this concealer. And I'm gonna show you a side-by-side -side of this concealer where I put it on and then I'll show you what it looks like on one side and then not the other. This is from Colfi. And I hope I'm saying that right because obviously I don't get those right very often. Um, just a regular old doe foot applicator, nothing big, nothing you know too surprising about it. But this stuff covers, not only does it cover really, really well, so you're getting full coverage by, and you know, if you don't have dark circles, full coverage, you know, isn't for you. But me, I have like trough dark, dark, dark circles. So this is great. And the other thing that it does is it really just blends seamlessly with any foundation I use it with. You know, this is a house labs and then you got a Colfi concealer. Sometimes when you're blending right through here, you get a little bit of a, you know, situation where it might break apart between the two of them. They seem to do really well together in any foundation I pair this with, it does good with. I love this and yeah, it's one of the ones that I got. I think I got it around the same time that the house labs came out. So definitely for me, these are knock them out of the park winners. I just had the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz in one of my videos. And I still think that that's probably my favorite palette of all time that's high end. However, the one from Natasha Denona, the retro palette, and it's what I have on today. This one is a close second. The reason is, is because again, the colors are just my colors. I love these. They're so very pretty. And there's just great textures in here, beautiful mattes and gorgeous, gorgeous shimmers and metallics. And there are some that have a little bit of glitter in them. And then you've got some that are just that straight shine that's so pretty. And I really love that they gave you this color right here and this color right here are both mattes. So you got a super light color for a matte and then you've got almost like a transition color that's a really nice blending matte. So what I do is I can take any of these other matte colors that are really dark and I can blend them with that and make my custom color. Her shadows are always very finely milled and I never seem to have a problem blending them. So I do love this. If there's another Natasha Denona one that you've been thinking about, you might want to take this opportunity to pick it up. Along with the House Labs foundation is the powder. And this is just a loose powder. I love the way that the powder is in the sifter in there. So you're not getting all the powder out at once and it kind of dispenses it a little at a time. Got a little stopper right here. So great packaging on it. But the powder itself is a really great powder. It is super light and super fine. And I do have quite a bit on today because I was having a hormonal problem today with the hot flashes. And so I had to put a little bit extra powder on. But this powder doesn't even ever seem to just cake up. It just seems to blur more and more. So I like this so, so much. And I normally am not a setting powder person. I'm a finishing powder person. I love finishing powders, but setting powders usually look so dry that they bother me. This is just very light, very airy, and it doesn't really feel like I've got anything on. And yet anywhere where I've got pores or you know normally get a little break apart, I can put this over and not feel like I'm getting super dried out. So I really love this one as well as the foundation okay, too. Speaking of finishing powders. Now this is the Givenchy Prism Libre Powder. However, I bought this one probably three or four years ago. Yes, I know, but I don't feel like my powders like this, my loose powders, anything happens to them. Now, I am trying to use this up right now because I do realize that it's, you know, a bit older, but this is a beautiful finishing powder and I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate it for you because you just can't really demonstrate how gorgeous uh, finishing powders are. What's really nice about the Prism Libre powders is that they are four different colors and they mix together and then you have a color that is just perfect for you. I would spend some time just looking at each individual one. Like I said, I got this four years ago. I think there was a light purple, a pink, a very, very light green and another color pink in here. So this one was limited edition and you're probably not gonna be able to find it. I know you can't find it, but these are beautiful powders to finish with. And what do I mean by that? You know, when you set down powder, you're setting it down under your eyes, you're setting down your makeup so that your makeup won't move. A finishing powder, on the other hand, is when you are dusting it or buffing it in places where you want there to be extra light, where you want to look like the sun's just kissed you a little bit or the light is just hitting you a little bit. That's what a finishing powder does. It just brings the, the makeup back to life and makes you look like you have a subtle, soft candlelight glow. 
So I love this one. It's one of my very, very favorites and I've loved it for a really long time. And <laughs> obviously if I've had it for four years, if I was going to buy a brush during the sale of any kind, it would be the hourglass dual sided brush. I find myself picking this brush up and using it almost every time I do my makeup. This side for highlighter or blending out contour or setting down powder underneath my eyes and this side for my blush. Now, this is good for cream blush and it's also good for powder blush, but it's also good for bronzer and warming up and it's just an all around great brush. There's a million and one uses that I could find for a face brush like this. I love how soft it is. I love that it just washes up like a dream. I know this is a little bit more expensive, but on sale like this is the time to get it. That's when I got mine and I got mine three years ago and I have not regretted it for a minute spending that kind of money on it. And it definitely was worth it. Number eight is the Gwen, Stef Gwen Stefani brand Give, and this is her lipstick. And I don't remember what this one is called. I've got this on today, by the way. It says, screen my phone calls. And this is a very beautiful rose. I like this lipstick better than I like Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona, or Charlotte Tilbury. It's so much better in my mind, partly because I love the saturation of it. I love the color of it. It just seems to be just that beautiful, true rose pink, kind of a little bit more deepened. I love the staying power of it. So you put it on and unless you are eating, it's gonna be on there for several hours. Beautiful packaging. She's got several different colors, but this one happened to be my favorite. I just think it's so pretty. And I wore it so that you could see it today. And then over top of it, I did put one of these glosses. Now I have a video out that I will put down below in the in the description box where I did a full face of the Sephora collection and the Sephora collection right now is on sale for 30% off for everyone. And that all starts on the 14th. So make sure that if you're interested in some of these, you want to grab them up. So I'm just going to show you some of these colors so that you can see them. Um, th this one's a beautiful like mulberry color. And then the next one has kind of a burnt red color in it with a slight bit of orange in it. It's not really warm though. It's so pretty when you put it on with any lip liner, it's just gorgeous. And then this one right here, I think this one's called Wild. And it basically is just a topper that is clear. But the one that I have on that I absolutely love so much is this one called Money because it has like three different colors in it. So it's a duo chrome, but it's just gorgeous. And it looks very gold right there, but put it on top of a lipstick like the, the Glen Stefani one and you have magic. It's just so pretty. And your lips have that 3D look to them where it's kind of like, what color does she really have on? Is it gold? Is it pink? Is it purple? Is it orange? You know, you don't really know because you're kind of moving around and it's just, it's a beautiful reflective color. I have loved it for such a long time. If I was going to repurchase any glosses besides some of the ones at the drugstore, these would be it. Because first of all, these are just about drugstore prices and then you get 30% off and they're better than drugstore prices in a lot of ways. So this is a great gloss, not too sticky, but it's it's thick enough that it's going to stick around and you're gonna, you really like these. I really love them. I think they're fantastic. Okay, number 10. I, this is the, my newest one, but I'm pretty in love with this. <laughs> this is from Giorgio Armani, and this is an eyeshadow, a liquid eyeshadow. And when I saw this demonstrated, and I saw it on TikTok, and it was this little gal, and she was saying that she has worn this since she was in high school. I'm like, how do you afford Giorgio Armani when you're in high school? But beyond that, she was talking about how she wears this every single day in her inner tear duct area and how it stays there all day long and never budges and everybody always asks her what's in there and guess what? It does, it stays there all day long and it is a dynamo for no budge power whatsoever. I mean, you couldn't budge that off of your eyes, absolutely not. I am, this is striking. This is really striking. I got the same color she did. There's several other colors. So if you're deeper toned in your skin, then you're gonna be able to find a deeper tone of this, you know, that might match you better because, you know, putting stark white might not be your thing like it is mine because I'm so, so pale, but beautiful, 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 very, very high quality. It just has this staying power 
like nothing I've seen in a long time. And especially when you're talking about your inner tear duct area, you know, we're wiping or whatever we're doing, blinking <laughs> and it goes away. This doesn't, this is gonna stick around. So pretty. All right, I wanna mention this one. I have mentioned this before, but I wanna mention it again because Iconic London is one of those companies that I'm slowly getting acquainted with and purchasing just a few pieces here and there. And then I'll go into Sephora and I'll see something else. I'm like, ooh, that is intriguing. Okay, why this was so intriguing to me, and it's a little bitty pot. Look how tiny that is. This is a contour product. And when I start talking about contour, you guys are always gonna know I'm preaching, wear a shadow for a contour. Don't wear a bronzer that's gonna warm you up. And that's what this does, it's so cool. And this one is called Medium Shadow. So this is the Precision Duo Contour Pot. On the top, it has the powder, which again is that fantastic kind of muddy, color got maybe just a tiny bit of red in it so pretty and then on the bottom you have the cream so i layer this on top of each other and the cream is really interesting because it's almost like the cream at the beginning doesn't have a lot of color in it but i'll put that cream on and then i'll put the powder over top of it and you want to talk budge proof so it's just a different kind of a cream it's this cream that feels like it immediately goes to powder so putting the powder over top of it is just like giving it added staying power. I really like this. I think it's a great product, but keep in mind that the cream isn't a cream that you're gonna go, oh, this has a lot of pigment. It really doesn't. It's more like it just goes so well with the powder and the powder's super buttery too. So I love the color. I don't think I liked the other colors, but the medium one is just, yeah, it was my jam and I really like it. And I thought I would definitely tell you guys about All it. All right, I've talked about on my channel how much I love Rare Beauty because even though it is higher end and it is at Sephora, I still feel like they're not trying to gouge you so much. They came out, Rare Beauty came out with this new highlighter and I can't remember what color I have. I think it's called uh, Enlighten, okay? So it's called Enlighten, beautiful color. Oh my goodness, I really like it. This is what I've been using like crazy on my face and as over my lid, I didn't use it over my lid today. It was the palette that I showed you. But it's just a really creamy, very brightening formula, especially this color. It just seems super bright and not necessarily like a highlighter axe, which is sometimes shows up texture. This one's very smooth and it just makes you look like you have a lip within glow, which is what I have on today, instead of just a beaming highlighter. So I really like this one. I think it's very pretty. I am kind of fighting with myself to get other colors because I don't need another color of highlighter in my life, but I really do love this formula. And then I wanted to give a mention out again about the Rare Beauty cream blushes that are in the little pot. Um, everybody talks about the soft pinch blushes and they are phenomenal. They're beautiful, but I really like this formula and I didn't think I would when I very first got it, but then I started working with it and I'm like, this is a beautiful creamy formula that can be built. It doesn't go on too fast right at the beginning and your brush doesn't pick up too much and then you can just put more on as you need to and it's just so pretty. I love this particular color of it. It's so, so beautiful. Let me tell you what the, this color is. This one's nearly mauve, so pretty. I feel like these are very special too. They're not like other cream blushes where you just pick up so much and then you feel like, oh my gosh, I gotta blend all day or I gotta get my beauty blender back out and because I've got too much blush on all at once, it's just not like that. I just really love it. So that one right there, I wanted to make sure I talked to you about again. And yeah, this is probably my favorite cream blush at the moment that is high end, so pretty. And then the last two products I'm gonna talk about are fragrances. It's a great time to buy, to buy fragrance because you do get a little bit off and normally you just don't. And especially on these two that I'm gonna show you that I've kind of fallen in love with big time. Uh, this one is the Clean Reserve and this one is called Skin Reserve Blend. And this smells to me, it, I can tell it's got a lot of musk in it. And if you don't like musk, you're not gonna like this one, but it's got a very clean, very pheromone type scent to it. I love it. It reminds me a lot, if you've ever smelled it, of Trish McAvoy's number nine. If you've ever smelled that, that's what this is. This to me also smells very much like it could be almost a unisex, and it really just warms up with your body chemistry to your own pretty scent. 
Very beautiful. Now, another one that I've fallen in love with very recently, and yes, I'm gonna spray these two together because they're very similar, although this one from KLE, which is called Pistachio, let's see, I get these all, Yum Pistachio Gelato. Great name to begin with, but the perfume itself is so pretty. It has almost a citrusy smell to it with the musk and the sandalwood and some floral in there. I don't know what the notes are, but go take a look at it on the website because this one, oh my gosh, this one smells so good. And these two together, like I just sprayed them, are really kind of really great magical kind of thing together. So I love those. All right, friends, that is my Sephora VIB sale recommendations. I hope that you did enjoy seeing this video. Thank you so much for being with me. Don't forget to tell me your recommendations or what your wish list is this time if you're going to shop. And I hope that you're all doing really well. Please come back around and we'll be together very soon. Take care of yourselves and I love you much. Goodbye, my friends.